Hi friends and welcome to Keto with Libby. I am Libby and today I'm going to be showing you three really easy lunches that I have been making over the last couple of weeks and I wanted to share these ideas with you guys if you guys work full time if you are having trouble with lunch ideas. Before we start, I do have some things and tools that I'm going to be using that make my meal prepping, meal planning life easier. So the first one is the Dash um, egg cooker. Now this one has another tray. It makes 12 eggs, but this is like the easiest thing to use ever. Not a sponsor, I just really enjoy this tool. The second tool that I will be using is my eTech City food scale. Now, a lot of times I just kind of gauge, you know, amounts and stuff like that. But if I'm really trying to focus on my macros and not overeating on things, especially nuts, um, then I will get out the food scale. So we'll be using this for just a few things today. And then I have, oh good, I have <laughs> some mini little Tupperwares here and then some meal prep containers. And I also have some reusable bags. They're drying because I just washed them. But those are all the things I think we need besides all of our ingredients are back here. I did most of my shopping for this at Aldi just because I know they have everything I need. Their meat and cheese selection is always on point. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so like I said, we're going to start with the eggs first just because they take probably 10 to 15 minutes and I'm only gonna make six eggs today. So I will just kind of show you how to do this. All right, so we got our six eggs in there, um, the pointy side down. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to pop a little hole. There's a little stabby guy on the bottom here. You're just gonna pop a little hole to help these steam and cook. Okay, that's done. Next, what we need to do, it does have a cover on it too, just for the kiddos. Next thing we need to do is find, so we have six eggs and we're gonna make them hard boiled. So I found the six hard line here. I'm just gonna go fill that up. And then I just pour this right in the middle of one of the holes. Put the lid on. I'm gonna set it off to the side here just so we have some more counter space. And then all you do, flip it on, the light is on, and then it'll play a pretty little song when it's ready for us. So the first meal I want to show you guys is the pepper sandwich. I don't know if you guys have seen these on TikTok or whatever. I saw a recipe on YouTube for them. My sister and I gave it a try and we actually both really enjoyed it. So I'll just kind of show you how I make mine. Is this angle okay? Can you guys see? There, that, I feel like that's a little bit better. All right, so I just start by put, cutting it into quarters. Okay, so we have all of our seeds out and we have these all nice and cleaned out. Of course, there's one more left, whatever. Um, I am going to add, this is from Aldi. It is their garden vegetable soft spreadable cheese. That is the first thing that I add. All right, so that's what it looks like when it's opened. I've also tried their cucumber dill and it is also really good. So just take a scoop. The next thing I add is cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. You can use whatever kind of meat you want. These are just the things that I add in. And I will probably tear this into quarters just so it fits into each one. <laughs> okay, there's that. Next, I have deli sliced black forest ham. Again, you could put roast beef. You can really do any, sorry. You can really do any kind of sandwich that you want to. 
I've done turkey, I've done chicken breast. So I am going to just tear this very much, not beautifully, lay it down. And I like a lot of meat on my sandwiches. Again, you can do whatever you would like. This is your meal prep. This is just a guideline and an idea for you. I do also sometimes add um, pickles, like I'll put pickles underneath here. I might actually do that, hold on. All right, pickle chips. And then just to pack these, I literally just put them in my container. Oops. Shove them in there. And then we're good to go. All right, so this is probably the easiest one for me to do. So this is like a Lunchable. So I get this hard salami. And I get this from Aldi. Again, I got most of the stuff at Aldi. You can get your own heart like block of cheese and cube it they had these available I was totally gonna do my own cube cheese but why not make it easier on myself and do this mixed nuts and then some strawberries and some blueberries I will be weighing out the nuts and the cheese and the meat just because I know that I can kind of overeat on those things sometimes. Let's do the blueberries and the strawberries first. Cause I just add these um, into one of my reusable bags. We'll zero this, where is it at zero? These are some really big strawberries, look at those. And I did rinse these off when I got them yesterday, so no worries, that's huge. I think I'm just gonna do two strawberries. So I'm not gonna really worry about the ounces with those because those are two really big strawberries. So those are probably like two grams of carbs a piece. Next, I will take probably a cup. I think I'll use a cup. Zero. And the nuts. Nuts are definitely something I struggle with with portion control. So serving size is one ounce and that is five grams for one ounce. So I will try to stay within that ounce with these. Just because if I bring extra nuts for myself, it's not gonna be a good day. Did you see me? I just tried to put that lid on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, let's do a bag for the cheese. Okay, zero that out. Seven cubes. Oh, this just tells you. So this is seven cubes, and I just wanna show you guys this um, unit. So there's grams. This says that seven cubes will be 28 grams. So let's see how accurate that is. One, two, three, okay. You see over here? It's done. Turn it off and let them chill there and we'll get to those in a minute. Okay, this says six slices. So we won't need to measure this one. And I will just throw one, two, three, four, five, six. Lunch number two all packed. That is my version of a keto lunchable. Okay, and then the next one that we are going to be doing is, I call it the veggie medley, and that's perfect timing for the eggs to be done because that is the one we are going to use those for. So I'll be right back. All right, we are back. So I would say the veggie one has probably the most prep work just because I didn't buy any pre-cut vegetables. So I'm gonna be cutting all of my own veggies. So the first one I'm gonna do is a pepper.
Next we have um, baby carrots. So this says three ounces. So we're gonna change this to, where's my unit? Oh, right here, ounces. We're gonna put this on there, hit zero. And then the next thing I eat is broccoli. I don't really measure out my broccoli. Just kind of cut it off the head. So there is, that's the base of the vegetables that we're going to be using. And I'm gonna scooch all this over. Scooch, scooch. Okay. And then, Then I'm going to be using Ken's Buttermilk Ranch. Ooh, this is a new bottle. I thought I'd already used this. And I don't quite measure my ranch, I just pour it into this cup. That looks about right. <clears throat> and then, put the lid on that. I'll just set those right there, they're on fire. And I don't peel them, I peel them at work, so I don't take them peeled, just a heads up. All right guys, there we have it. Those are the three lunches that I have been taking over the last couple of weeks. This will last me three or four different days. Um, lunches, I usually don't get really hungry during lunch, but I always wanna make sure I have stuff on hand just in case I am hungry. And these are all really, really good options that I have been enjoying. So I hope you guys give these a try. And if you do, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any go-to lunches that really help you stay on track, let me know in the comments. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really hope that you found these lunches helpful and you give them a try. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.